ladies and gentlemen. You know, when it comes down to the drinking water, I believe we are lied to more than we're told the truth about the severity of the drinking water. So here's a map. And as usual, you're going to hear contradictory things in the story because these folks, that's one thing they will never do is tell you the truth. And we know who owns the media, so enough said. So according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the U.S. has the safest water supply in the world. However, contaminations and safety violations still do occur with serious implications for public health. So the Drinking Water Act of 1974, amended in 1996, was passed to protect public health in the U.S. by regulating the nation's public drinking water supply. To meet these standards, the Environmental Protection Agency, also the EPA, imposes limits on over 90 contaminants in drinking water, including chemical contaminants like arsenic and lead. Oh man, what do y'all do to the water? You know, you didn't have to do anything to water. These folks just think they got to have a hand in everything it, to the point where it's just absolutely ridiculous. So failure to meet these limits result in an uh, official violation. And while the majority of recorded water safety violations are due to untimely water monitoring and reporting, Thousands of health-related violations occur every year. To explore these, it will vary across different states. So the violations related to human health were counted for each state over the past five years between 2019 and 2023 using census data from July 2023 per violation per 100,000 people in each state and Washington, D.C. were calculated. So when you look at this map, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to show you a variety of different reds and pinks, right? So the dark colors are the states that have the biggest violations. So which states? Alaska, New Mexico, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Wyoming. So when you look at the map, this is what it is saying. Alaska has 307 drinking water violations. New Mexico has 162 drinking water violations. Louisiana, 151. Oklahoma, 127. Wyoming, 103. And meanwhile, those are the states with the biggest violations. Now, the states that have the fewest related violations during the same period of time, 2019 to 2023, was Hawaii, Alabama, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Washington, D.C. had the fewest violations. So, of course, the number of health-related violations does not necessarily equate to water quality. The data reported to the EPA consist of violations of Safe Drinking Water Act regulations. This is what a spokesperson said from the EPA. Compliance data reported to the EPA does not directly measure drinking water quality as this depends on violation types and other factors unique to each water system. Now, I want y'all to keep something in mind. The EPA is the same one 
that told Palestine. Remember when Palestine had that train wreck and chemicals went everywhere, including in the water? This is the same EPA that tried to say the water that had an odor was safe to drink. Y'all remember that, right? This is the same EPA. So anyway, it is also worth noting that states like Alaska, Wyoming have relatively small populations for the size meaning that there are more violations per person because there are simply fewer people. Indeed, if there, you know, if we look at absolute numbers, Texas has the highest number of health-based drinking water violations. However, it is also the second highest population in the U.S., so a lot more drinking water systems are needed. And therefore, we would expect more violations due to the sheer quantity of water systems. Despite its relatively small population, Alaska has been the subject of recent news due to the camp. Uh, contaminated rivers and streams. Now, y'all remember, because I did a, a live stream on this yesterday, the rivers and stream, uh, I can't even speak right now, the rivers and streams turned a bright orange. And they believe this came from the melting permafrost, but it is loaded in heavy metals and they said the rivers and streams are toxic. So it is going to be a lot going on in Alaska, I could imagine, in the coming months. So meanwhile, the EPA has sent out a nationwide warning after recent federal inspections revealed 70% of U.S. water systems do not fully comply with SDWA standards, with many systems at risk of cyber attack. Mm -mm -mm. Well, it's just one of many things, right? Unbelievable. So y'all, you know, I'm surprised, you know, with all of the water problems in Jackson, Mississippi, how Mississippi didn't even make this story. And Jackson, they have had water problems for several decades there but it, they didn't even mention Jackson, Mississippi at all. I guess I'm not totally surprised. So y'all, just looking at the map, are you in a high-risk state? Let me know in the comment section. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.